I'm Tim, welcome back to EDUA 90. There are more than 40 million teachers and students globally using Chromebooks. And on this episode, we'll run through the latest news on Chrome. Let's get started. Let's begin with some new accessibility features, starting with improvements to cursors. To help students see cursors better, they can now choose from seven colors in addition to the default black, and can also increase the size of the cursor for more visibility. To adjust the cursor, go to the mouse and touchpad section within the settings. We recently made it easier to export websites as accessible PDFs in Google Chrome, including on Chromebooks. Chrome is now the first browser to generate PDFs with auto-generated headings, links, tables, and alt text that makes them more easily legible for screen readers. This makes the web more accessible for people with low vision or who are blind. Next, select Speak, which lets students choose an area of the screen to be spoken aloud. To make it easier to focus on the spoken text, students can shade background text that is not being highlighted. This is helpful for students with low vision and students with learning disabilities like dyslexia. Search for Select to Speak settings within the settings menu to enable this feature. The Chromebook App Hub is a place to find great apps and ideas for how to use them in the classroom. With our new app licensing program, you can find information on a collection of six apps with which administrators can easily install, activate licenses, and track usage throughout the school year. With Chrome Education Upgrade, managing thousands of devices and apps is simple and seamless. IT admins can now deploy Android apps, including Minecraft Education Edition, to users on the Chromebooks in their fleet. Admins are able to pre-select a collection of apps from the Google Play Store and the Google Admin Console and define which groups of users receive the apps. Before selecting a collection of apps for deployment, we recommend reviewing the guidelines linked below. And lastly, an update for any of you parents and guardians. FamilyLink helps you keep an eye on kids while they're online. You can approve apps and extensions, set time limits, and use content filters to set boundaries for kids. And now you can add a school account for a FamilyLink user, so you can set ground rules for your child while they do their schoolwork in Google Classroom, Docs, and other websites where you sign in with Google. That's a wrap for this episode, but check out the links in the video description below for more on each of these updates. Don't forget to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified when new episodes are released. We'll see you next time. Check out our last episode for a rundown of the latest Google for Education news, including transformation reports, computer science research, and Google Earth.